geothermal energy is quickly becoming an attractive green alternative for heating and cooling buildings. In fact, putting a geothermal system in one home is equal in greenhouse gas reductions to taking two cars off of the road. Calgary-based React Energy is in the geothermal business and is finishing off a groundbreaking project, Alberta's first geothermal car dealership. We're seeing uh, and have been involved in everything from an 800-square-foot uh, bungalow that we have retrofitted. The building was uh, probably 50 years old and uh, we're right now involved in several homes that are 15 and 20,000 square feet uh, that are brand new. So we've seen the full gamut of that. We've been involved in the commercial side in uh, City Hall. Uh, we've been involved in uh, medical facilities uh, and now first automobile dealership in Alberta. This groundbreaking dealership is Keith Pontiac Buick GM in Okotoks. Okotoks is known as a town with an environmental conscience, particularly with its new state-of-the-art solar community. So Keith GM felt it needed to be in step with its customers. We must also say that there is a, uh, a financial advantage to being geothermally heated and uh, we welcome that but we also wanted to reduce our own carbon footprint and uh, it have a positive image in the community as doing our part and we know a lot of our customers as well are very environmentally conscious and uh, would appreciate this. Geothermal energy is as renewable a resource as there is using the constant temperature in the ground to heat and cool the building. We're taking the energy that's already stored in the ground, we're bringing that into the building, and through the magic of our heat pumps, our geothermal heating system, we're able to take that temperature and amplify it to the temperature we need in the building. On the reverse side of things, when we want to air condition the building, we're removing heat from inside the building and putting that back into the earth where it's a relatively cool temperature. We're doing that much more efficiently than you can do, uh, than you can heat or cool a building using more conventional technologies. Under the ground, no matter what time of year, it's six degrees centigrade. So in the summer when it's 30 degrees outside and we're trying to take this heat out of the building and dump it someplace, guess what? It cools off very quickly in that nice six degrees centigrade earth. It's easy to dump the heat back down there. Um, so in the, in the summertime, we're putting heat into the ground and in the wintertime, we're doing the opposite. We're taking advantage of the fact that it might be minus 30, degrees outside, but it's still six degrees above freezing under the ground. It was a lot of work just getting this project off the ground, from designing the system to breaking down the hefty costs of such a project to getting building contractors to set aside their apprehension about working with a technology they knew little about. Once the project got the green light, the drilling began. There are 60 holes under the dealership 300 feet deep. It's basically a mass of pipes leading up into the building. In the mechanical room here, we have built what we call a header. What we're dealing with here is two groups of 10 pipes coming from the ground. One group will be what we call a supply, the other one return. So in other words, as we're circulating fluids through the ground to absorb the energy from the ground, there will be one, hole that, uh, one pipe that goes down a hole and another one that comes back up. So as the circulation of the fluids goes through these pipes, it will come back into the building through one set of pipes. This one set of pipe will then carry the fluid to all the heat pumps throughout the building. And as it's made its way uh, through all of the building, it'll come back to this header, and this one then sends it back into the ground to do it all over again. Each one of the uh, heat pumps acts independently. So it's like a furnace or an air conditioner, and you can turn any one of them up or down. So just how much money is this geothermal system going to save the dealership? Initially, the system is an expensive way to go compared to a conventional heating and cooling system, but Rachel says it's an investment for future savings, which could be as much as 40%. As an operating cost, we're, gonna, we're going to have an advantage over our competitors in that our energy costs over the next 10, 20, 30 years is going to be much lower. It's a little bit like an incredible discount you get by buying in volume. You know, you might get 25 or 30 percent off of something because you buy a year's worth, right? As opposed to going and buying everything a day at a time or a gym membership at a day or a month at a time. Doing this is just so smart. It's financially smart, it's environmentally smart, 
And from an image standpoint for the dealership, it's incredibly smart. And Ratio says there's no comparison when it comes to the lifespan of a geothermal system versus a conventional heating and cooling system. With a conventional system that would be on the roof for heating and cooling, um, it's exposed to the elements and they don't last forever. Having said that, we will never need to dig up the equipment and the piping that we have going down hundreds of feet in the rear corner of this lot. It's protected from the elements. It might last forever. Construction is in the final stages and they'll be setting up shop this spring. Chad Carrier, Energy TV.